Hey guys, Blue Kool-Aid here. I'm going to give you a video real quick. <clears throat> yeah, I've been kind of under the weather this weekend. Sorry for the lack of videos. Um, the whole the whole space weather thing here has been continuing the way that it has. But here, just a few minutes ago, I seen a big disruption on, on this. Um, ben, ben over Suspicious Observer did a great video on this model. Please go watch it. Um, it would help you guys understand what this model actually does and how it is flawed in some areas. Um, backside pressure a lot of people talk about you know we have to think about this a little bit logically if we were getting something from the behind which we do once in a while i would think from like cosmic rays and all those kinds of things but a lot of sensationalists out there that put this information out will say that you know and i used to be part of that because i i really thought that that's what was going on um, but months ago scott corrected me and, and it's been months so I quit talking about that backside pressure because it just isn't what it is. Okay. Um, I might have spoke about it, but I didn't use that in that way. Um, I used to think that there possibly could have been something that close to the earth, you know, that close. But there's, if you think about it, even Ben even says it uses the word logically. You know, I know we think out of the realm here. We keep an open mind, but we also have to keep it real. Okay. Um, so when we do see stuff like that, we have to, you know, bring it down to that level. But anyway, what we're seeing here, guys, I don't think it's solar, you know, it could be part of solar wind, but I think it's our magnetic fields, again, getting influenced by something that they're not saying is there, okay? Um, you know, the 28-day orbit we've been talking about here, um, all that kind of thing. So I really think that's what's going on here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here real quick. I already loaded up the models, but uh, here we go. I'm just going to go see how we got compressed. See that? Boom, boom, and rapid expansion. Just like always, okay? We get hit, compressed inside the satellite line, boom, bounces back, okay? Here's here's the view from this model. Okay, obviously you guys are seeing that. That's pretty, pretty intense, okay? Now, if you look at the solar wind speed up here, it says it got up to a thousand. One thousand twenty-five kilometers per second. Okay, did it really go that fast? Did this did this come from the sun or did it come from something else? Right. Um, if that was going to come from the sun, they probably would have already known that that was going to happen. So that's what I'm trying to say. You know, they haven't been saying anything about any kind of increased solar winds, nothing like that. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But here's this model. Boom. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've seen these before. And yes, this happens when we get hit with high solar winds. But is this solar winds? That's the question here, guys. Is the sun causing this or is some other magnetic fields interaction with us and the sun causing this? I think it's a little bit of both. That's my opinion. Um, and, while, and I'm going to show you here real quick. We're going to go ahead and go over to space weather. Okay, here's this model. This right here will show you that they're not predicting that high of a solar wind. Okay, see the green here? This this right here? This is the date down here. Look, that, that solar wind doesn't get doesn't get over 500 as far as their models go. They're not they're predicting even it to get lower. They by no means predicted that to happen. Okay. What I just showed you over there on that other model. Now, the plasma density is going to go up when the solar wind speed goes down. That's just what they do. It's supposed to. When they both go the, the same direction, that's when we really got to pay attention. But I'm going to show you guys uh, something else real quick. Um, this is the solar wind SDO. Mm, goodness, what is today? Sunday. Yeah, we'll just. Do that. 10, 14, 22. Let's do that. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you the purple view. Okay. Come on. Oh, it didn't submit. There it goes. All right. Now, 
So what am I talking about when I'm talking about coronal holes, solar winds this, solar winds that, right? Well, if you look here, guys, we have a constant coronal hole at the poles of the sun. We always do. It's always there. Now, if you look, if you look at the atmosphere around the sun here, you see how it's more hazy off here to the side? Okay, typically the whole front of the sun, the whole sun looks like that unless you have coronal holes. The whole front of it's kind of looking dark, and that's my point. So is that really, you know, is the sun's atmosphere thinner there? Or, is, or are we starting to see some big, huge coronal holes? What's going on here? You know, typically I, I, I couldn't say 100% either way, but, you know, again, that's just my opinion. 